Let's talk about the dry dock incident. Monarch operatives transported you from the university to the ground zero operation at the shipyard. Still upset about that, huh? You were secured, unconscious. Well... Uh. Liam Burke went to retrieve you, and you were gone. How? I'm sleepwalking. Step away! Right now! You have three seconds till I pull. I have better reflexes. And you're a marksman. <laughs> We know Beth Wilder assisted you in some manner. Then I'm guessing you know the rest. No, because everybody who saw what you did next is now dead. I didn't have a clue where I was or why. Never questioned it because it didn't feel real. I'm still waiting to wake up. The old industrial area. Why am I here? Only way forward. Well, that's weird. <gasps> okay, doesn't last. Noted. When the fracture broke time, some objects became unstable. With my new abilities, I could manipulate their timelines, rewind them. Still no word from Burke on Jack Joyce's position. Very well. Ready a chopper for me at the dry dock. I'm heading to the island. Roger. We'll have the chopper. Seeing Paul's face on that screen, it was some kind of sick reminder. I couldn't escape what had happened, what he did. I needed to know why, but part of me wanted to put a fucking bullet in his head before he could open his mouth. Want us to send additional teams to search for Joyce? Negative. Focus efforts in our PR campaign. Amy Ferrero's confession goes live in a matter of minutes. What about Jack Joyce? Once that confession hits the air, the whole city will be looking for him. He'll have nowhere to turn. He'll come to me tonight. At the gala? You're sure? Positive. Hey, what's Reaper Squad doing with those video cameras up in A3? Looks like some bitch named Amy's gonna be the poster girl for Serene's PR campaign. Filming confession videos.
This elevator looks like the only way out of here. There's gotta be a generator around here somewhere. my brother was looking for. I'm the one who was attempting to rescue your ass until you decided to go on a gun-blazing ship parade through that warehouse. Now listen closely. You're at the outskirts of a Monarch Cronin harvesting operation, and Paul Serene is at the dry docks nearby. Not a recipe for fun times. So how about... Dry docks. If Paul's at the dry docks, then that's where I'm... No! Jack, the fracture is our only priority now. Time is ending. Will said he... Will's dead. My best friend came back a goddamn monster. He knew this would happen. He prepared for it. But Paul's the key to understanding all this, and I'm gonna find him. We both know that if you find Serene, you're not gonna be asking questions. Think this through. Paul was at the dry docks in the distance. I recognized the place. William had a workshop in that industrial area for years. I knew that couldn't be a coincidence. This one's more reflective. Like, wish we could undo what we've done, sort of deal. Dave will feed you the lines. Dave? You're using your names. You're not letting me go, are you? You're never letting me go. Please. I didn't do anything. I what was that? Jack Joyce. You. From the protest. What do you... I am so sorry. I didn't want to, but they made me do it. They made you do what? What is this place? They forced me to make false confessions for the news, I think. I'm so sorry, Jack. They were armed. Hey, whatever you did, it's not your fault. None of this is your fault. I'm just glad you're okay. Listen, I need to get to the dry docks. Do you know the way? Uh, no, uh, no, I don't think so. But they took me in through a security station nearby. I can help you find a way through there. I owe you.
The security station is right over there. <sighs> oh, I knew Marnock had a dark side, but this? They're controlling the entire media, everything. They can't cover this up. It's too big. <laughs> they can, trust me. Locked. Ah, okay, there must be a gate controller on somewhere. Yeah. I'll... Hey, it worked. It's not holding long. I don't think you're fast enough. That could be fixed. I think you need to get to this side of the gate somehow. Oh my god. You're just... You're just like them. Like who? I saw them on the way in. These... geared up soldiers that... blink in and out. Okay. Oh, well, something new to look forward to. You know, I thought I was losing my mind when I saw that. You're part of this. I need to know what's going on. You really want to open that can of worms? You just defied physics. I'm entitled to all the worms. All right, my brother tried to explain. Time is an egg, which is now fucked. A time egg, which is, it's fucked. It's like broken, I, I don't know. What, what? Why is there an egg? We're locked out. Maybe you can climb through that open window on the second floor? Yeah, that should work. Wait here. Okay, well, I'll fill you in with what I know, but when you put the pieces together, it all goes banana pancakes. So everyone thinks that Monarch is run by this smarmy asshole named Martin Hatch, but everyone here answers to a guy named Paul Serene. And apparently he founded Monarch in 1999. Now, here's the thing. Paul Serene is the exact name of a guy who was heading some top secret physics project at my university. So it's gotta be the same guy, right? Wrong. Now, I heard that Monarch was there to steal the project from the university, but why steal something from yourself? Also, I saw that guy Paul Serene on campus once and he looked like 30 years old. So if you started Monarch in 1999, that would make him 14. So unless he's a Dookie Hauser with corporate America, that's impossible. Banana fucking pancakes. <gasps> so Paul founded Monarch. <gasps> Need to get up to that old window. Is that another one of those? The I'm starting to get the hang of this. All right, that's it. That. Made it. Now to get to that door. Good work. Mr. Serene's chopper is inbound for the 
I'm going to use the terminal up here and try and dig a bit more than it's really up to. Operations, Clarissa. 